Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap for Friday, July 9th. Uh, nice way to end the week, a little over $2,000 today, uh, 2020 to be exact. Uh, still a red week, so let's go over the trades for today and I'll come back and recap the week. Uh, starting with the Mighty 90, just one Mighty 90 in DKNG for plus 285. Did a pairs trade in Dow versus NASDAQ for 123. And then the big profits came in the runners. Uh, uh, two losers and, the, and seven winners with the runners, a total of a little over $1,600. Apple plus 456. Boeing was my biggest loser, minus 736. Facebook 442. Small loss in Microsoft for 72. Netflix plus 222. NVIDIA 285. Roku 350. Square 285. And Tesla 380. All right, so let's take a look at these and uh, show you what we did. Uh, let's start with the Mighty 90, which was in DKNG. So DKNG had a little weakness uh, coming into the day. Uh, it was flushing, uh, had a nice little volume spike here. Uh, you can't really tell because later in the day, there's this massive spike, so it makes all these look small, but it was coming down, had a volume spike. So we got long right here and caught this bounce. Uh, for a nice uh, $285 winner. I was trading very, if you if you followed me this week, you know, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday were terrible days, big red days. And so I really scaled down my position size and kind of refocused on making sure I was cutting my losers quickly. Uh, so I scaled down my position size uh, again today, uh, but took a lot of trades and just, just a lot of doubles and singles. And so uh, no home runs, just kind of pecking back away. Um, so on to the runners. Uh, Apple, booked 456 in Apple. Uh, Apple was really strong. And so when it started to consolidate above yesterday's high here, the blue line uh, got long and caught this run up right there for a nice 456. Boeing, I got hit twice in. So this is two different trades. Uh, that was the uh, $736 loss. But right out of the gate, had some big volume to the upside, uh, started to pull, uh, pull back, got long right here, started to push up. I was really close to getting out of part of my position for a profit, excuse me. And then it just rolled over. And when this thing started, oops, when this thing started flushing, like I said, trying to cut my losers quick. So I just, I just cut out of this thing and, and got out. Now, obviously it ended up bouncing. So I would have, I would have been fine, but, uh, obviously we don't know that in, you know, that's hindsight trading. So Cut out of it, took a loss there. And then later it pushed back up above the highs. And so when it pulled back again, I looked to, um, I looked for another continuation thinking, okay, Boeing uh, started chopping around and then it was ready to take off. And then it pulled back again. I added right here, caught a little bounce, booked a little profit on that. But then when it rolled back over, I just cut out and ended up taking a loss. So minus 736 on Boeing for both of those trades together. Uh, Facebook plus 442. So Facebook, even when the market started off selling off in the morning, Facebook stayed strong. And so when it started to consolidate here, uh, I took a little long position looking for a continuation higher. Chopped around for quite a while. Had to be patient here. Finally, it popped up, got out of some. Uh, I think I added back in here, popped up, got out of some. So nice trade in Facebook for 442. Uh, Microsoft was a small loser, could have been a winner. Um, but again, I was just kind of cutting, cutting quickly. So uh, Microsoft was strong, pushed above the highs of the day, pulled back, got long right here, uh, popped up, got out, of, got out of some of it. And then when it started to roll over, uh, I just got out of the rest and, and took a, basically a scratch, minus 72 bucks. It ended up popping back up, but Looked like it was going to roll over. The market was getting weak at that point, so just closed it out. Netflix plus 222. Let's see, what did we do in Netflix? Um, oh, yeah, this is the downside runner. So it's is really choppy all morning, and then finally it pushed through that. So when it bounced up to unchanged, got short right here, and uh, caught some here, it bounced back up, flushed down. I got out of uh, got out of my last piece down here, which is ended up being a really good exit because this thing just started to rip higher. So plus two twenty two in Netflix, Nvidia plus two eighty five. Uh, Nvidia. So this was um, I th 
this was a couple different trades. I know when it pulled back to unchanged here, I got long, caught this bounce. Uh, there was something else in here. I can't remember exactly where it was, but that was the that was the majority of it right there. So, in uh, plus two eighty five, I was kind of in and out of a lot of stuff, uh, just taking small profits, cutting quick losses, and um, so I would you know I would really call these more scalp type trades uh, as opposed to runners. We didn't really let them run too long, uh, but we're we're entering based on our runner criteria and uh, just just taking profits quicker. Uh, Roku. So Roku, uh, a couple things in Roku. One um, had a almost a almost a spike in volume higher than the first. So we ended up on this bounce, got short, fell over, uh, got out of three quarters of the position just on that move. There it was a quick, really nice profit. And then when it bounced up uh, and started to and started to kind of consolidate here, cut out of the last piece. So that was a small winner. And then later in the day had this massive volume push. Uh, so when it pulled back here, it got in long and just this little pop here uh, was good for a nice profit. I was afraid that this push and this volume was exhaustion and I was right. But when it pulled back, I thought, okay, we'll probably go back and test the highs at least one time. And so I just took my profits right there. It was only a couple contracts, very small. Uh, so booked a nice profit. So net net plus 350 on Roku. I think that was good for 300. And the other one I ended up booking 50 so plus 350 between the two and then square plus 285 a lot of trades today like I said a lot of just doubles and singles uh, in square so square had this initial weakness bounced off of unchanged came all the way back up to high so when it started consolidate here got long and caught that push right there for plus 285 and then lastly Tesla a couple different trades in Tesla um, I can't remember the first one exactly, uh, but in Tesla, whenever uh, whenever Tesla pulled back, uh, had, it was strong, pushed above the high of day, and then came back down to unchanged here, or came back down to yesterday's high, uh, got long here, caught a little bounce. I think I got out of some when it pushed back down, got in again, and caught another bounce, and I was out. So couple little trades in there I think there was there's one other one in here I can't remember exactly where it was um, but anyway plus 380 net net in Tesla all right so those are all the trades for today plus two thousand twenty dollars on the day let me bring back my sheet I'll recap the week uh, Tuesday and Wednesday like I said were painful days um, and so net net on the mighty 90s for the week uh, a little over twenty four hundred dollar loss uh, only a fifty seven percent win rate and then, and really, 2,200 of that was in a Boeing trade that just went bad. So, and I, I'm not, I'm not mad at how I managed that one. So, you know, just, just not a good week in the mighty 90s. Uh, two pairs trades for plus 373.50, exactly like last week. Um, and then the runners net net minus 1940, only a 50% win rate on the runners. So, net on the week minus. Uh, 3,986.50. So not a good week after one of my best weeks of the year last week came back and puked this week. Um, and so here's how it broke down Tuesday minus 2,600, Wednesday minus 3,600. And then, you know, just significantly reduced my position size. Didn't take very many trades yesterday on Thursday, book 268. And today still kept my position size super small. I don't think I ever had a position over 3,000 in buying power. Most of them were around 1,000 to 2,000 uh, and still booked over $2,000 on the day. So I really like the way that, uh, that I traded today. Uh, so if we look at the days of the week total, uh, Wednesday had been my best day of the week, and that is now that has now been overtaken by Thursday. So Thursday over 13,500 profits. Uh, for the year booked on Thursdays, still over 10K on Wednesday, but now uh, Friday is right there with it as well. Tuesday continues to be my worst, and Monday is uh, right behind. Obviously, we didn't trade on Monday due to the July 5th market was closed. But one thing to note on, on Wednesday, one, because it had been such a, a great day from a P&L standpoint, I would, I would go into Wednesdays, and I know I did this Wednesday. I can remember specifically thinking and being aware of it, thinking, okay, I had a big loss yesterday, but it's Wednesday. I'm going to you know 
I have big position size or decent sized positions and I'm gonna get all that back and that completely backfired. So that's part of why I had to refocus, not only scale down my position size just to refocus, but also refocus on the discipline of cutting losers quickly. And uh, so we're back on track the, the next couple days, the last couple days here. So look forward to building on that into next week. We'll be streaming live in our day trade uh, live stream room every day next week. Look forward to seeing you then. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Have a good weekend.